Good morning, everybody. Josh Ezell, Breakthrough Real Estate, Property Management, and Handyman Services. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, we're talking about the best team I've had at my brokerage, and I call them the Open House Team. Let's jump right in. If you're appreciating these stories, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button right now. It lets us know that we're doing a good job. It lets YouTube know to keep having us pop up in front of people, and we will continue to provide the best content we could possibly come up with. We really appreciate it. So one more time, if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit it, like and subscribe, whichever side it is. All right, thank you much. Let's jump right in. When agents join Breakthrough Real Estate Property Management, we teach them what we call the tabletop of real estate. It's a tried and true method of being able to perform your real estate services and duties in almost every market possible. It allows you the flexibility. Let's just say we're proud of our tabletop. Now, part of the tabletop training is obviously open houses. As an agent, this is one of the best tools we have at our disposal to get in front of people. It's like a mobile office that we can take everywhere, right? Now, if only every agent we train just embraces the training and at least gives it a whirl, you know, a month or two of each thing, like here, knock on doors, here, make phone calls, here, FISBOs and expires, open houses, you know, tackle your sphere. There's all these tactics and angles that you can just rock and hypothetically just own if you really devoted yourself to. But for whatever reason, so many agents just don't do it. Not this team. This was two, I don't know classify as younger ladies. One is a single mom. The other is a newly married mom who uh, happened to have married into uh, a husband with several kids. So just for lack of a better term, call them two moms who teamed up our friends. They live in the West Valley and they are just awesome awesome people I love them to death and they embraced the training now they came to us from another brokerage and one was a new agent one one was from another brokerage rather they came to trainings they came to meetings we talked we strategized we work together in so many capacities now one of the benefits of being one of our agents is that we do offer open house signs and they very early they're like hey if we do regular open houses can we just keep them with us we'll have them checked out you'll log them they're not ours but can we just keep them because we're going to be doing a lot of them it's like well shoot yeah what, what do you classify as a lot they're like well we'll be doing two or three open houses a week minimum and since we're 20 miles away from the office can we I'm just like yeah absolutely if you guys be doing two or three open houses per week do it they did over the next few weeks they started doing more and more open houses they had their listings doing open houses they had neighborhoods they focused in did open houses there they had prospective clients help them with open houses they had friends that were realtors help them with open houses no matter which way you cut it every week week in and week out for let's call it two to three months straight they did open houses were some of them fantastic 20 30 people through absolutely were others complete wastes of time nobody showing up yes were they actually wastes of time no people drive by people see the signs people see your social media posts you can make phone calls from the open house there's so much work that can be done at the open house. So if it really boils down to it, is there a bad open house? No. Now, what it does is that it builds up. Three open houses this week, three open houses next week, three open houses the following week. Let's say you average, in this case, let's make it easy, five per. So you have five, 10, 15. Then two weeks, that's 30 people. Over the course of approximately a month, that's 60 people. Now, the average is one out of every 18 people 
turns into a sale from open houses with proper follow-up. If you're getting in front of 60 people per month on the conservative side, that is no less than three sales per month. Now let's take it if you have one of those wonderful 20, 30 person turnout open houses. Now you're up to close to six potential sales per month with proper follow-up. Three open houses a week, averaging five people to sign in, proper follow-up, three to six or seven sales per month, month in and month out. Now, here's the catch. It takes a little time to build it up. First month, just doing the open houses, working with the people, building the rapport, getting in front of them. Second month, showing homes, getting your new listings taken care of, writing contracts, actually getting the work done. Third month, that's when you're closing. That's when all your hard work from the last three months pays off. Okay, now let's call it four sales a month, four sales a month, four sales a month. That's 12 sales in one month that will close. And that's precisely what they did. I don't remember the exact number. I haven't, didn't bother to look it up prior today. Sorry, it was a busy day. It was no less than 10, but I'm pretty sure it was 12 or 13 closings that they had in one month with our brokerage. All right. They always had closings, but their top month, I'm pretty sure, was 12 closings. For two moms working during the day, mainly during the week, they had over 10 closings in one month. How many of you can honestly say you've had 10 closings in one month plus? How many of you could honestly say you've stuck with it, had the grit to do something for three months straight, knowing it was going to pay off? Three open houses. And these are the, they put out the signs. They did the hard work. They did the marketing. You gotta love that. Now, if 10 closings in one month isn't enough of a selling point for you to try open houses on a regular basis, let me throw you one more thing, okay? Let's actually take this to a, to a you level, okay? Three open houses per week. Now, you're going to do some wonderful marketing. You're going to do wonderful follow-ups, emails, text messages, neighborhood canvassing, every single thing you could possibly think of. So, you're going to average six sign-ins per open house. Three open houses per week, six sign-ins per open house. What's that magic number? 18. 18 sign-ins per week with proper follow-up should equal one closing per week. One closing per week, let's say you take two weeks vacation off, round it off, 50 sales per year. 50 sales per year at about $10,000 per closing, yeah, you just made over half a million dollars this year. Three open houses a week. That's not too much. Can you do three open houses per week? Please leave your comments below. Let me know your top month in sales. Let me know the tactics you used to get there. That'll be awesome. All right, thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you next week.